Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're gonna be covering user criteria on ServiceNow. Now this is from a sample community article and it talks about what user criteria is. So user criteria is an ability to group users based on certain conditions. Is user criteria an alternative to an ACL? The short answer is no. So to secure anything, we need two answers. So what needs to be secured and for whom it needs to be secured? User criteria only answers the whom, it has nothing to do with the security on its own. So in our example today for user criteria, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to restrict access to a particular catalog item that I built. Um, it's an example catalog item. It's meant for users to go in and request updates to databases. And right now everybody is able to access it, but we want to restrict it so that only users that are a part of the database group can access it. So if I were to go over to the service catalog, and click on hardware, you see it's right here, database, up, uh, database update. So anybody can access it. So what we want to do is we want to restrict it. So if we go over here to the catalog item update page and we scroll down towards the bottom, there should be an option, there we go. So available for and then not available for. So you can either add in, um, you can start whitelisting different people or you can blacklist certain people so or groups. So what we want to do is we want to make it available for and to do this, we need to go ahead and we need to add in the database user criteria. Now, right now, if I were to select this, it's probably not gonna have one that we need. So you see, these are all the user criteria that are currently built. So if we uh, need to go ahead and create a new one, we can just go ahead and select new. So let's select new right here. And database users. And then once we do that, you probably wanna add a description. So, um, Uh, only allows users from the database group. Actually, let's do this. References users from the database group because it could be used for blacklisting or whitelisting. Okay, and then down here, let's go to groups and we can add multiple groups, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick with one. So you may have some uh, more broad user criteria that you wanna set up. So maybe you wanna add in roles, like if the user has the ITIL role, or maybe they have a, a part of the database group, and or uh, you want to specify certain users. You can do all that right here. And then you can also do some little bit, uh, a little bit more advanced scripting if needed. You can also add in companies, locations, departments, all that good stuff. So this is all we wanted, right? We just wanna restrict it just to database. So if we go ahead and save this, and then we go back to where we were. And you see it automatically applied it. So right now we have it restricting only to database users. I um, probably can still see it now because I'm the admin, but let's check it, check it out and see. Yep, I could still see it because I'm the admin, but let's go ahead and see who's a part of that group. And we'll impersonate someone who's not a part of that group first to see if they can access it. And then after that, we'll go ahead and we'll um, test someone who's actually a part of that group, make sure they can access it. So let's go over to groups, database. So right now there's three members, ITIL user, Beth and Fred Luddy. So we'll try, let's try Able Tutter first. That's our favorite example. They're not a part of this group, so they shouldn't be able to access it. How the heck do you spell this name? I know you're on here, Able Tutter. Oh, that's right, because we used him in a previous video and we deactivated him. Derp. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, impersonate Adela Sir, Sir Vance because they're not a part of the group members here. So let's try them. And then we'll go over to Service Catalog. Hardware. And they don't see it. It's not on there. It's restricting it. So now let's try Fred Luddy, who is a user that is a part of the database group. And same thing, we'll go ahead and head over to the service catalog, hardware, and there it is, it's right here. So again, if we, um, what we did is we just whitelisted that group, um, and then by default, all the other ones were not 
it, it's available for uh, all of them. It's not available for the members that are not a part of that group. And we could add in multiple different user criteria as well. So you're not just restricted to one. Um, in addition to that, you can also whitelist and blacklist. So maybe there's certain um, sections within, like maybe you want to white, uh, blacklist certain users from being able to access it. You can do that as well. So you can get as creative with it as you need to. But I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you all in the next one very soon.